it's Saturday morning. I'm headed to the knife gig. I want to shoot down here and see what the bay looks like. It's really, really windy today. I'm sure it's rough as bricks on the bay. Yeah, good God, I can see it from here. Terrible. I'll give you a short report. I'm not going to add it to this video, but I'll add it to the next one. Uh, Doc Beaver, he went yesterday and found a 10K band. Uh, the Guru found a four-tooth grill. That looks like the Guru's car right there. And the Mumbles man, he gave everybody the Mumbles with four rings, but they were all bling or junkers, no gold. But you can see it's a... Uh, Rough and brick. Not as bad as I expected it to be with the wind blowing like it is, but nonetheless, it's rough. Can't work out here. But I think the guru must be working the damp sand. I see his car here. Okay, I'll get to the knife gig. Stand by. Well, it's 8 45 and we're getting set up. Got a new vendor there, a kettle corn vendor. It's a nice day. It's really windy, as I showed you earlier. But I got my first customer already. I'm not even finished setting up. She's got, what's she got? Three, four, five, six, six knives and three pair of scissors. I like the way to start the day like that. All right. And like I said, I got my camera working. As far as I know it's working, I'm going to try her in a minute. She all dried up. She came on and I put the SD card in and the rest is history. Well, my second customer bought me a shun. In good shape. Just needs a little sharpening. No nicks, no micros, anything. And then my third customer bought me an old 1953 or 54 Gurker. A small Gurker. He said, don't touch it, just sharpen it. Leave it as is. I said, okay, I can do that. And then this is a really cool knife here. A SOG. I've never seen one quite like this. This scuba dem demo. But she's old. He said she made some tours in Vietnam. It's a pretty knife. But he don't want to clean her up any. He just wants her sharpened. Okay. Now I got a gathering of heckles. Three, four, five, six, seven. God, I thought it was going to be a slow day. Two lovers and a hedge trimmer. That's the that's it for right now. Finally, I'm caught up. I think I spin through the market here. Look at the pies. The pies are different today. I like the pies very much today. Hey, how you doing? We cut the zucchini up. We put it on the baking sheets to make zucchini chips. Um, you know, we season it with olive oil. Kettle corn is new. How you doing? Cakes. Soap. The best of it. Meninas.
That sandwich is today. Sausages. Meatballs. This is a new deal. So how's this new thing going today? Yeah. Ice cream. Seafood. The best of it. I was getting ready to go, but now I got two more knives. It's four minutes to twelve. Pretty cool, huh? Well, we're home from the gig. And I told you, I think I told you that the lady of the house is in Ballhead visiting her daughter. Well, that means that she doesn't eat pork. But I do. So, me and Jack and the critters are having pork chops, peas, potatoes, applesauce is in the refrigerator. I don't think we have all that. We're going to flip a coin whether we get applesauce or peas. And, mmm. I was hoping my son was going to come over and help me eat it, but he called me at the last minute and said, I can't make it. I can't make it. I said, oh, that'd be more cherry pie for me. Stand by. And that's Jack's bowl. That's part of the pork chops. The rest of them in the oven. Biscuits will be in in a minute. Carnivore food. And I got uh, two glasses of wine. You ask why? The guru is coming over to help me eat these pork chops. The guru. And the flip of the coin, the applesauce won. So it's going to be some meager potatoes, pork chops, and applesauce. And bogle. And cherry pie. I don't know if the guru eats dessert or not, but that's okay. If he doesn't. Stand by. We might go for a spin uh, in a little while. The size low about... Uh, I don't remember, 6.30 or 7 o'clock. It's only 4 something now. Stand by. <laughs> 